So hello everybody, uh, I'm here at Loeb with Brian Cox and he just did a, a great speech about what's going on with the Higgs and, uh, and the universe. elements and universe and so what's the status, what's going on in uh, Lausanne? And uh, Geneva. Geneva. Yeah. yeah. Well it's almost in Lausanne isn't it, it's yeah. nearly big enough. Um, at the moment we had a, a as you know, I think everyone knows, a, a failure in one of the joins between two magnets, um, which caused there to be a leak of helium into the tunnel. Now, our helium is kind of valuable and very cold. Okay. So it kind of, you know, I heard people say that the tunnel was kind of full of ice. and uh, So we had to take those magnets out that were damaged and fix them. Um, and we are doing that now. We understand what the problem was. It was almost the way I've heard it explained. It was one of those kind of... 20 things happened in succession, almost, you couldn't predict it, you know, yeah. which is one of the great things actually, it's, it's worth saying about the LHC, is that it's just about the most difficult thing we've ever tried to do yeah. as a human race, uh, and so we're learning all the time with the machine, um, so we've learned how to deal with this particular piece of behaviour. So the magnets go in, there's a slight modification to some of the way the, the, the cooling system works, they should all be in, in uh, I think by the end of April, at the start of April, and the machine should be cold and ready to go again uh, next summer, I think it's looking like the end of June. So it's not actually too big a delay. And the kind of positive thing is we've learned a lot about how those industrial cooling systems work. work this yeah. is the biggest cooling system in the world. Right? And what is the most interesting question for you which you probably solve within this project? Oh, the, the most interesting question is, well, the most likely thing we'll find out is the origin of mass in the universe, which is already an interesting question. Um, we actually know that when, if we get enough data, which we're sure we will do, then we'll, we'll answer that question. It's a profound question. But there are other huge questions that we might learn about. Um, the, the reason that gravity is such a weak force. We have no idea why it's millions and millions and millions and millions of times weaker than the other three forces of nature. Um, so that's on the kind of long shot scale. Yeah. The, the interesting thing about the LHC is it's, it's not a machine that's built to discover one thing. It's a door, that, uh, and our understanding stops at that door. So you know that you're going to explore something new and exciting. Wow. You don't necessarily know what it is you're going yeah. to find. So would you like to have a hoverboard soon? A hoverboard? Yeah, like in the like Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're great. going to invent it at CERN though. Yeah. I don't think